There have been over 100,000 tornadoes documented in all of human history. Here are what I consider to be some of the strangest tornado paths. If you look in the area surrounding Chicago, there's one tornado that really stands out. The 1990 Plainfield F5. This tornado was a rare F5 tornado that traveled southeast. A vast majority of tornadoes in the United States travel northeast. This right here is what a traditional tornado producing jet stream looks like, resulting in tornadoes that move northeast. And this is what the jet stream looked like on the day of the Plainfield F5, resulting in the southeast moving tornado. Such an intense tornado from this type of setup is not normal, but this next tornado is even stranger. On May 27th, 1997, a slender tornado would form north of the town of Gerald, Texas and move southwest, picking up steam as it got closer and closer to town. What it did was truly disturbing. It would stall over the Double Creek Estates for at least two minutes, producing arguably the worst tornado damage ever recorded. A similar, but not quite as strong tornado would occur north of Eureka, Kansas in 2016. The tornado would move southeast at a slow pace, but then would stall over one location. Doppler radar scanning the storm shows how the circulation stalled at one specific spot, kind of like the Gerald, Texas tornado. In 2013, the Bennington, Kansas EF3 would move slowly over the Kansas grasslands, producing this extremely wacky track. After moving southeast, the tornado would loop back around and moved southwest. Fortunately, this was a well-behaved tornado, only impacting a few structures. This next tornado was not well-behaved. On May 31st, 2013, a large multi-vortex tornado would form near El Reno, Oklahoma. This tornado would grow to over 2.6 miles wide. It would also change directions multiple times. The unpredictability, size, and power is the reason why it's the only tornado to take the lives of storm chasers. The other El Reno tornado, the 2011 El Reno EF5, also exhibited abrupt direction changes, or loops. However, I think the best example of tornado looping happened 20 miles to the east in Moore, Oklahoma, where an extremely intense EF5 tornado looped and changed directions. It's likely this caused even worse damage because the tornado hit the same area twice. Another iconic example of a tornado looping is the 2007 Greensburg EF5. Right after Greensburg was hit, the large wedge tornado dissipated and performed a counterclockwise loop. While this was happening, a second, even larger tornado was forming to the east, the Trousdale EF3. Now for this next tornado, we're going to go overseas, specifically to the Yangtze province of eastern China. On June 23rd, 2016, a strong EF4 tornado would impact the city of Funing. The tornado traveled an almost straight path, which isn't really that weird. What makes this tornado's path so weird? If we look closely, you can see the extreme detail that was included in the tornado survey. Here in the US, we don't really do tornado surveys to this degree. They likely used balloon reconnaissance to map this tornado's path. When I was researching the Chinese tornado, there was another tornado I noticed that really stood out. Smack dab in the middle of Mongolia is a single tornado track. Its date was marked as July 26, 2014, and it was rated as an F4. A quick Google search led me to this video where this incredible tornado was taking place in central Mongolia. It's pretty clear that this tornado was not a normal occurrence, but was it the only tornado in Mongolia's history? Not at all. Mongolia has a long history of tornadoes. 
But this tornado in particular was extremely photogenic. I saved the three weirdest tornadoes for last. Coming in at number three is the Udall, Kansas F5 that occurred on the night of May 25th, 1955. This tornado is known for being extremely strong, but in my opinion, the path traveled by this tornado is equally interesting. This thing was zigzagging like crazy. It made five different turns, moving generally in the north direction, when it finally decided to make a hard right turn, ultimately going nearly due east. I'm not quite sure if there's an explanation for something like this. Tornadoes sometimes do what they want to do. Coming in at number two, the 2007 Ellie Manitoba F5 tornado. This tornado was unique for a few reasons. For one, it is the only F5 tornado in Canada's history. It was also incredibly photogenic. Most tornadoes do not look like this. But the reason why it's included in this video is because this tornado had an extremely weird path. The tornado started out moving southeast towards the town of Ellie, Manitoba. It would then take a few sharp turns, then looping. It came out of the loop traveling due south and would then take another sharp turn right towards town. The tornado would then do a second loop, inflicting F3 to F5 damage. Despite being a relatively small vortex, this thing was extremely strong. The Ellie Manitoba F5 had one of the strangest paths of all time. However, this next family of tornadoes was even stranger. On June 3, 1980, a supercell moving southeast would produce a cluster of extremely erratic tornadoes, impacting the town of Grand Island, Nebraska. The first tornado that formed was northwest of town and was already extremely erratic. A second and third tornado would form just north of town. One of only two photographs that exist from this event were of these two tornadoes as they were side by side. The fourth tornado formed east of town. As if it was possessed, it traveled back towards town, arcing south, doing its worst damage near South Locust Street, ultimately getting a rating of F4, making it the most impactful tornado of the event. The storm would go on to produce a couple more tornadoes, including this last one, which is probably one of the loopiest tornado paths I've ever seen. This event was analyzed by Dr. Ted Fujita. In his survey, he noted that many of these tornadoes were actually anticyclonic, making this event even weirder. The tornadoes that occurred near Grand Island, Nebraska on June 3rd, 1980 are the strangest tornado paths of all time. 